Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm right in my hands is Wannabes, number one from Scoot, which is the kids' line for Scout Comics. Created and written by Mitchell Martinez, art by Samir Simao. Um, this, is a, this is a pretty interesting debut. So it's about two kids, and uh, they clearly have become superheroes at some point. So this first issue is about their origin. Um, we have uh, two kids. They're kind of from... You know, not the best home situation. Uh, one's parents divorced and his father clearly is kind of flaky. Uh, the other one, it sounds like his parents don't care. Uh, and they, they want to be heroes. This is a world where superheroes actually exist. It sounds like superpowers might actually exist as well. And uh, they, of course, want to do that. So they go out at night, they do their thing, um, and they're not all that great at it. So this is the origin story. How do they get the superhero superpowers that we see in the beginning of the comic? Not spoiling it. Uh, it's literally at the beginning of the comic of them with their superpowers. So, um, you know, it's kind of clear that's where the comic's going. Uh, and it's, it's good. Like, it's entertaining. Um, it's interesting is, like, I don't know... You know, the, the age-wise, so Scoot, when I think of Scoot, I think of, like, younger readers. I'm thinking, like, you know, 12 and under. I'm not 100% sure I would totally do this, give this to, like, a 12-year-old. 13, 14, 15 and above, like, definitely, that that's not an issue. But it's one where I just don't know the age cutoff. Uh, and that's maybe my, my only real issue with it. The other is this is just the first issue and that the rest of it will be out in a graphic novel. So it really kind of comes off as like a teaser issue for a much larger graphic novel that you need to, to purchase. Uh, I myself would just rather get the graphic novel and, and skip the, the first issues. I think it's kind of weird to have to like rebuy um, the comic, though. I don't know the full graphic novel, if this is going to be reprinted or not, or like what the deal is. Um, but... You know, that's kind of my thing. Or, you know, make it a zero issue and then you have the graphic novel. Um, so, yeah, I think that would be the other thing is that, you know, there's no issue two, three, four, five or whatever. There's the graphic novel. So uh, be prepared for that. But overall, like, it's it's an interesting concept. It seems like an interesting comic. The the dynamics between the, the two kids are, are good and interesting. And um, it kind of sets things up in, in a, you know, it, you know it's just not going to be a positive situation. Uh, going forward. So, like, the question is, like, you know, how do they fall out? Um, and where, like, where was the break, basically? So, um, art is, is good. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm the biggest fan of the art, but, you know, it, it, it's decent. Uh, kids might like it a little bit more than, uh, than I do, but it's just, you know, it's, it's not quite my style. Um, you know, there's, there's nothing necessarily bad about it. Um, for me, like, scoring it, I'd probably say, like, the story itself, Seven and a half, art like a seven, going with maybe low seven ish. Uh, so I guess what, maybe like B minus, C plus, somewhere around there. Like it, it's kids, I think, would maybe enjoy it. Um, to me, I think I'd rather have read the, like the full graphic novel, not the single issue. I probably would have enjoyed it a bit more at that point. Uh, and it, it did, I think that's my thing is it feels very much a teaser for the graphic novel as opposed to a comic unto itself, if that makes sense. So, you know, it's not a chapter where you get to read the second issue. It's just a gotta go get the whole thing. And, you know, it's not my favorite thing in the world as far as, uh, business models or release schedules. So it is what it is. Uh, out now in comic shops, you can go get this. We've got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code to tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage. By doing that, you'll support our site, so thank you. And just watch our video support us, so thank you for that. If you're into comics, if you're into Scout, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, and uh, TikTok and Instagram, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos. Or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.